In this final basic construction, there were six in this series, we're going to drop a perpendicular from point C through AB. And this is incredibly useful. Imagine this is like a triangle or something here and you want to drop an altitude. Uh, the idea is the same. What you want to do is first start with your compass tool, or in this case my circle tool, and create an arc that goes from C and crosses this segment down here. And I'm going to click, let's say here, so point D is where that circle crosses our segment AB. And I've got another point I can generate right here at point E. All right, got that set. Now I'm going to take that tool again and I want to essentially create a point for us to drop the perpendicular down to. And let me go back actually. If you have this circle here, right, you can take your compass. From E to C, there's my compass tool, and then do the same from D to C here. Bring that down. And what you'll notice, let me just move this a little bit. By doing that, if you look past the segment down the bottom here, they cross again. So I can then click the point where those intersect and connect the line between C and F, and that will be perpendicular through C and um, go uh, perpendicular from C essentially, or through C, and to segment AB here. Now I did unlock everything, and what you'll notice is you can move these things around, right? You can see um, how the location affects our construction. In our case, we might lose our construction here because um, our segment AB runs out, so you could have always dropped a line between A and B, so that's infinite length, and then you have the ability to really play around with it. Undo that. So I encourage you, um, does, uh, GeoGebra, excuse me, is, is dynamic. And that means you can ask yourself different types of questions about how the constructions work and what will help you and what won't. So those are just some things to think about. Thanks.